And in more celebrations of black culture and tradition, Milwaukee Film is highlighting three movies by black filmmakers all month long. Right now, Gerard Blanks joins us this morning. Good morning to you. I hope you're doing good on this Super Bowl Sunday. I'm good. How are you? Good, good. So I understand you helped kind of spearhead this. So what are the films you're highlighting this year? We got a bunch of films. We have more than 30. We have about 18 features and about uh, another 18 shorts. Uh, so one of them uh, is a film called Invisible Portraits, which actually today is the last day that you can see it as a part of the program. But it's an amazing film about depictions of black women, both historically and uh, contemporarily. So why is it uh, important that you share these stories and, you know, the ones you highlighted? Well, I, I think it's important because um, black history is American history. Mm -hmm. The black experience is an important part of the American experience. So it's not just films for black people, it's films for everybody. So I think, you know, Black History Month is just the be sort of beginning of the conversation, but we're going to be talking about these issues all year long. Absolutely. I actually recognized a shot there. Uh, it was Charlottesville, Virginia. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, so there's a, a film called uh, hate, um, Confederate Monuments, mm -hmm. Heritage or Hatred. And what's amazing about that film is it it was shot during the Unite the Right uh, rally a couple of years ago. Right. And so they were actually able to catch all of this footage, right, and make a documentary out of it. And it documentary out of it and it's a part of the HBCU Storyteller series. It's a shorts program that we're featuring this month. Yeah, you know, I actually lived in Charlottesville, Virginia during that time, so definitely important to highlight that. So I appreciate that. Now, these uh, films and events can also all be watched at home. Well, that's the beautiful thing about it, right? Um, Cause it's cold outside <laughs> so you don't have to go anywhere. You just sit on your couch. My wife and I last night watched a couple movies Sit on your couch, watch some films, stay warm. Absolutely. Uh, anything else that you, you think is important for our audience to understand about this and, and why you uh, selected the movies that you did? Yeah, I think people should know that in addition to the movies, we have a lot of great events, a lot of great mm. talks. Yeah, and so we went through and selected the films that we thought would, you know, motivate, uh, stimulate conversation. And so a big part of what we do is finding films that we think will, will generate discussion and then have those discussions with the community. Absolutely. Well, thank you again for joining us this morning.